Well, summer is upon us, uh, but it's hotter than ever in here. Hi, everyone. I'm Ian Drew, entertainment director here at Us Weekly Magazine. And to my left is a woman who needs no introduction. She's been dazzling us for weeks on Dancing with the Stars, Zendaya. And uh, you have a lot more coming up now. How, how, how did it feel being on the show and the finale? It was awesome. You know, I learned a lot. I get to say that I'm a dancer in a new respect now, and that's really exciting. And now moving on to music, and, you know, my single comes out in July. And I have a book coming out in August, so things are just going really good. Do we have a name for the single? Yes, it's called Replay. Replay! Perfect name, because I think people are going to be replaying That's the idea. your Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> <laughs> and when's the album coming? The album comes out this fall. Oh, okay, good, good, good. So lots of stuff in the works. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, right now, though, you're going to help me uh, talk about some other things that are hot coming up and coming out in our new issue. This is Hot Stuff, the top five sizzling stories from the new Ew. issue right here on usmagazine.com. We love that. First up, Beyonce inside the baby buzz. Well, last week, rumors exploded. I guess it was a slow news week that Beyonce may be pregnant. But Jay-Z actually sent an email to a local radio station, Hot 97 here in NYC, saying they're not true. And uh, sources close to Beyonce that we spoke to said she's so busy on tour, she hasn't told anyone that they're pregnant and there's no plans to change. Plus, she's flat as a board. She's letting her body do the talking. I, I love Beyonce. I really do. And I brought tickets to her concert. So I was just really hoping that she'd be able to go to the concert. That's what I was really excited for. Well, you bought them. I, I bought tickets. You didn't tickets use your concert. celebrity clout. So. No. Oh. I, I love Beyonce. Oh. I was totally fancy. Oh my god, I love that. I'm sure she loves that too. <laughs> and next, Miley's back to kissing Liam. Well, you never know what's up between Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth. She's another Disney star like oh, yourself. Yeah. The Disney house is represented, the mouse house. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, but anyway, at Miley's house, uh, just a few, uh, last week, she was kissing Liam again, leaving everyone to wonder, because she's also wearing her ring, are they back on? And a source says, yes, they are still back on. Uh, they have not really broken up, but it'll uh, be a long, slow They're really cute together, if it burns I don't out. know. Yeah. They're, just, they're really adorable. I think they're cute. But hey, you know, that's love is love, let them do their thing. You know, just gonna stay out of that. Hey, she, she can't be tamed, you know. <laughs> she said it herself. <laughs> and next, Duchess Kate cooking lessons. Well, uh, Duchess Kate uh, in England, yeah. you know, over there, that far off land, uh, is busy awaiting her baby to be born. And what's a pregnant woman to do? She's learning how to cook. Apparently, the Italian chef is teaching her how to cook Italian dishes. Well, that's fancy. At least she's not kick it cooking. Uh, My mom didn't do that. Didn't? I know. She didn't take fancy cooking lessons when she was pregnant with me. What the heck? Really? Yeah. Can she cook? My mom can cook. She just hates cooking. Oh, okay. She just... I think a lot of us feel that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and next, Kim Kardashian shower scoop. Well, speaking of pregnant ladies, all the pregnant ladies, Kim Kardashian is expecting, and she's going to have a big June 2nd baby shower in L.A. She sent out invitations over the last few weeks, and even Beyonce and Fergie got one. The oh. invitation is a little ballerina, and when you open it, it plays Hey Mama by Kanye. That's really cute. Yeah. That's cute. So. That's, aww. <laughs> I, you know it's going to be extra, like, extravagant when it's, like, Kim Kardashian or something. Yeah, Nobody Kanye. Fancy. Don't forget that. That's oh, the yeah. real extravagant part. Oh, right. Part. I almost <laughs> forgot. <laughs> And finally, an awkward reunion for you. That's between recent breakup people, Nina Dobrev and Ian Summeralder of Vampire Diaries. There was a CW party on May 16th in New York. It was a finale party gotcha. where they avoided each other. They avoided eye contact, and uh, it just was not very smooth. Yeah. The breakup's very fresh. Yeah. So Sounds like high school. Yeah. Good thing I don't have to go to that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Especially not anymore. I know. Yeah. I get to do it in a trailer by myself. <laughs> Love it. Yay. Hey, a lot of people would want to trade places with you, I'm sure. <laughs> it's true. Uh, and that's all the time we have left for this week. Everyone, once again, I'm Ian Drew, uh, entertainment director here at S Weekly Magazine. And this is a woman who, again, needs no introduction. Zandaya, though, I'll tell you. <laughs> and uh, you got to get her album and her single. And I mean, the, the, the avalanche of things Zendaya is coming. Oh, yeah. And uh, you can rush out and get these stories much, much more. It's all in our new issue on Newsstands Now.